Droid. Serial killer of droidforums.net. And today we're going to run a couple of benchmarks on the Droid 4. We're going to run a Quadrant Standard and an Antutu benchmark. Everybody loves a good benchmark, don't they? So let's take this puppy through its paces. Uh, let's, let's do a Quadrant first. Run a full benchmark on that. And while that is running, I just wanted to comment real quick about the 4G LTE connectivity that I've been experiencing uh, for, I've had the device for over 12 hours now, and uh, the connectivity on it has been phenomenal. I have not lost 4G yet. I mean, it hasn't even cycled to 3G. So data issues, it, I, I do not foresee any kind of problems with this phone cycling and searching for signal, at least in a good area. I, I can't really comment on, you know, if you're on a fringe area, you know, that may change. But overall, if you're in a good LTE area, I think you're going to be really, really pleased with this handset. So it just finished. So here it is. Quadrant standard finished running. We're at 2,500 and 71 so there you go okay so let's run the Antutu benchmark I really like this this benchmark in particular but um, we're gonna run let's run a custom test let's not do the database or the SD card because it is a pretty long test and we're just gonna go with the CPU and memory and 2D graphics and 3D graphics on this test. So let's go ahead and start that test. And while it's while it's running, I just wanted to cover something real quick about the battery life. The battery life on this phone has been really, really good. Uh, I've had the the, um, the handset for just over, I've had it probably about 14 hours now and used it pretty moderate to heavy. Been, you know, benchmarking obviously uh, downloading applications, net, surfing the net, playing games, so on and so forth. And it's gotten really, really good battery life. Pretty, I would say it's going to be compatible to the, to the Droid Razor, if not better. And I can attribute that to probably, like I said, uh, the 4G, the LTE connectivity, that it's really, really good. So I'm sure that's going to help out a great deal. And um, yeah, so we're going to let this sucker run through. And then now uh, we'll give you the results as soon as it's done. So here we are, we just wrapped up with the test and here are the scores. The RAM is at 834, CPU integer is 1663, CPU flow point is 1330, 2D graphics 293, 3D graphics at 1202. So let's take a look at how this compared to um, some other handsets out there. Let's go look at the bar chart, there it is. Transformer Prime at the top, of course. Wouldn't you know? But we're looking at my device, the Droid 4 is at 5322, which is just below the LG Optimus and the Samsung Galaxy S2. So um, that's it. Quadrant Standard and Antutu. Have a great one.